Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be reviewing the Steam Hardware and Software Survey for August 2021. This took place between March 2020 and August 2021. What we have here are a bunch of graphs that we'll be reviewing because I like going through this type of stuff just to see how the market has progressed as far as hardware has gone. A very telling thing is the survey coming from Steam since a bunch of gamers love to play games off Steam. Steam conducts a monthly survey to collect data about what kinds of computer hardware and software are their customers are using. The survey is optional and anonymous, so it's not an all-encompassing survey. Not everybody does the survey. It doesn't look like they're gathering information unless you specifically join to take the survey. Anyways, I'll make sure to post a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. But the very first thing we're looking at is PC video cards usage by manufacturer. So we have other manufacturers, Nvidia, Intel, and AMD, with Nvidia taking 77.5% of the market share. Quite incredible when you start taking things into consideration how much Nvidia actually dominates the graphics card industry. Going over to DirectX 10, 11, or 12 systems, Right now, we're dominated by DirectX 12 GPUs using Windows 10, which is good because people are keeping up to date and using the latest and greatest in DirectX. PC processor usage, we have 27.4 for AMD and 72.6 for Intel. Intel taking the market share there, as expected. But let's check out something more specific here. It looks like over these months, we've gained a 1.88% share of Intel and AMD has gone down the 1.88%. That's interesting. You would have thought AMD might have uh, captured a little bit more of the share just because of their mobile processors being so powerful. Moving on to the CPU cores, it looks like the most occurs right here, which is four CPU cores, quite interesting, but it looks like six is making a pretty good haul. It looks like the highest gaining one is in fact the six CPUs over this five month period. Macs are always interesting. We have Mac hardware ownership. About 50% are the MacBook Pros, which is going to be interesting to see because the MacBook Air is on par with the MacBook Pro at this moment with the new M1 processors. So I'm interested to see if within the next year or so, we gain some more market share on the MacBook Air, which seems to be at about 30% of the market share. VR headsets, I'm not that interested in, but what I am interested in is some of the operating systems information and hardware information. So it looks like Windows 10 lost 3% of their share on operating systems and is still, of course, the most popular operating system out there. Typical system RAM is 16 gigs, CPU speeds between 2.7 and 3 gigahertz, physical CPUs 4 is the most common, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 is the most popular graphics card with virtual RAM size of around 6 gigs. Primary display resolutions typically are 1920 by 1080 and a multi-monitor setup so this is just two monitors at a 1920 by 1080 setup crazy that 70 percent of people use that free hard drive space between 100 and 250 gigs and total hard drive space above one terabyte now what i'm interested in is how linux did and linux ubuntu 20.04 lost just a little bit of its market share and manjaro basically took on that market share with arch linux sharing it as well as ubuntu 2104 the more updated version gaining a little bit and Linux Mint holding in. And according to Steam here, Ubuntu 20.04 long-term support is the leading Linux distribution. Then we have Manjaro Linux at 0.13%. Arch Linux at 0.11, Ubuntu 21.04, 0.07, and Linux Mint 20.2 at 0.05%. So if we look at the overall standings here, we have Windows owning around 96.5%, OS X or Mac OS owning around 2.5, and then Linux right above 1% of the total market share in operating systems. Of course, this doesn't include servers and there's gonna be discrepancy because not everyone took the survey, but it's always interesting to see this. If we look, let's actually filter this down a little bit, Linux only, because that's what we really care about. We'll go back down. What are people using? So 
Most Linux users are using Ubuntu 20.04, more than 16 gigs, Intel processor, 3.7 gigahertz and above. We're leaving those Windows users in the dust. Four core CPUs, eight gigs of VRAM for the graphics card, and the rest is just about the same. Let me know what you think about these stats. I always think they're interesting. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.